Andrew tweeted me uh, and said, you know, have you thought about a Ferris wheel design? So I think that the, the Ferris wheel here was probably like the fourth design that I worked on to, to try and get it to, to strum. But um, once we had it strumming, then I knew that, that okay, I had to take on the, the cording um, ability. And I had originally came to CMK with a big list of, of different projects that I thought I might want to work on. Um, Arduino, um, putting together you know a Google map of like all the tasty spots I found in town, and you know I, I was kind of faulting myself maybe for retreating to, to a subject that I know a lot about you know and, and have fun doing with Lego, and you know maybe I didn't um, open new doors or you know explore new avenues, but but John assured me that you know the, the people. Who wandered by and, and, and saw the turntable and, and heard it play a record? You know, one of my personal heroes, Mark Brauenfelder, came by and like marveled at it. Um, and then you know, this crazy contraption that showing people like just what's possible. You know, John pointed out is is a really like a big thing. So I don't feel so bad about like retreating to what I was comfortable um, working with. So John is offered to. Uh, to strum the uke, and we're going to play Cooper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Pretend you're wearing uh, grass skirts and dance. <laughs> <laughs> something new you know if you think of this stuff as a, as, as a medium like paint or you know a trumpet then then you don't play the trumpet for one day and then the piano for one day and then the guitar for one day you develop fluency with it you get better at it you improve upon it so I think becoming more fluent more creative more imaginative one of the one of the things I often say when I speak at educational technology conferences is imagine what children did with computers was good um, most of what we see, we're very terribly excited about just because they use the computer, but very little bit's actually good. Um, so, so working on things and getting better at them with, with any set of materials is really useful. A lot of times we jump kids from one piece of software to another just because it's the month of the year or it's in a scope and sequence, or in third grade we do this software, fourth grade we do that, that software, and we never allow them to get good at anything. And some of the software that you've been dabbling in, things like micro worlds, you can spend your entire life learning. Not learning the system, but learning about other things by using the system. So I, I think I think this is a great example of, of of where sort of you know when when you're beyond advanced beginner, you can still work with the same materials. Yeah. Thanks. Great. Okay. Cool. Hey.